It's all so vivid. As if this world is way more real than the real one. Wait, how did I end up here? There was a fire, and the neighbor kid. I must have fainted. And now I'm back here, in a technicolor dream. A whisper is louder than screams. An oblivion is sweeter than heavenly trumpets. No, don't give up. Remember, you're a warrior with an iron will, breaking down walls for a noble cause. Wait, wait, he's bound to come. He will come. Yes, you will see. Ah, if only he turned up now, I'd clamor with joy. At last, I've been waiting for you for ages, Cyrus from Kamara. Alas, he's not here. And who knows how many more years I'll have to wait before meeting him. Cyrus from Kamara? Hey, it's me. Who's there? Is that you? Are you Cyrus? Don't I look it. And I did just introduce myself. Oh, omnipotent forces. It has transpired! Cyrus from Kamara! I'm he. So now what? Now! On to victories! Great feasts! Fate has finally brought us together! From now on, we're brothers! I am your conduit to beyond, and you're my guide through the human world! Cyrus from Kamara is a master for life, a custodian unto death. Hey Cyrus, are you ready? Ready for what? For battle! Haven't you fought in a war before? Yeah, sure. In a war for survival? Do playground tussles count? Hmm. Close enough. Is that sarcasm? Got any advice for me? Just hold on tight for now, and bit by bit, you'll get a hang of it. Happy to oblige. Wait, and where's the spirit? Usually, once the body is destroyed, the spirit should have remained here. But now it's nowhere to be found. As if you've absorbed its energy and set it free. No idea what you're talking about. I have to show you to my grandfather. Do you mind teleporting us out to that glowing twig? Is that a man? A homunculus? No, Grandpa. He's a warrior, a wizard, a gatherer. Gathering energy? We should make sure. Anyway, welcome to dawn. By dawn, do you mean that glowing twig? That's no twig. It's a newly sprouting tree of life. See if you can channel some of your energy into constructing a building. It'll help our tree. And you, as well. The Tree of Life is a source of infinite energy. Even its fallen leaves emit light, illuminating our homes and sanctuaries. This is all well and good. Trees, magic. But how do I get back home? Back to my world? Go to the Scarlet Groves. There you'll find the sapphire shards of the altars of the ancients. 
their energy will suffice to carry you home. But remember this, your true home is here. Believe me, he's not so easy to handle. They're ready to go to great lengths in the name of their crazy idea. So, you think they pose an actual threat to us, then we should act immediately. Or these crazies will work up Macropolites into a panic. I completely agree with you, but we need to be discreet. We have to keep track of them and maintain contact to preclude any insane antics. Bear in mind, Mr. Timms, I won't be involved in any of that. You'll continue being responsible for it. Yes, of course. I'll keep you abreast of all the developments. But if something goes awry, I won't be investigating who's at fault and who may have been misled. I have better things to do. Okay, Knox. I understand you perfectly. I think that covers it. Time to go. Being late is not my style. Have a nice evening. Thanks, I intend to. And you have a pleasant vacation. I doubt I will. Bye now. Okay, I think they're wrapping up. My word, how did you get into my office? Am I imagining? Or is there a note of glee in his voice? Along with the astonishment of my sudden visit. Well, don't just freeze up like a rabbit in headlights. I asked you how you got in here. I'm sorry, I needed some cash. Well, at least you know not to fib. But couldn't you pick a better target? There's hardly anything of value in here. You sure you haven't been sent by my competitor to gather some intel? Although never mind. Impulse has no real competition. We're years ahead of everyone else on the market, but I still want to know how. How did a guy who looks like he just rolled out of bed ended up in my office, apparently getting past all the latest security systems and plopping right at my desk? Why so, Mom? Please humor me and help me solve this riddle. If I do, will you let me go? Go where? Home. Ha ha ha. You don't cease to amaze me. It all depends on your response, but do spare me any lies. I'll get to the bottom of this one way or another. I don't know what really happened. Okay, let's try this a different way. Do you remember anything at all? Yes, the multiplication table, the five laws of Gelrario, and the fundamentals of technological legislation. I just recently moved to Macropolis to get a job. How nice. But can you recall anything from the most recent period of your life? Yes, there was a fire. Some kid was stuck in a burning apartment. I rushed over to help, and then... crackling fire smoke. It's all a blur after that. Like a hallucination. 
and then there was a flash of light. And here I am. Fascinating. Hmm. Has this ever happened to you before? No. A change of location and climate zones, soon followed by shock, mortal danger, adrenaline rush, and then... Yes, that could be. You said something about looking for a job? Look no further. You just landed yourself a position at the best corporation in existence. Just like that? You haven't even seen my diploma. You're exactly what we need. And what is it about me? You really still don't get it? You possess a supernatural ability. Teleportation. So what do I do with this superpower? I'm now responsible for saving the world, crushing villains, protecting the innocents, and crushing more villains. And then I rescue a girl. Well, first, find one. And then rescue her. Huh. Don't worry. That kind of stuff only happens in movies. Your life will be nothing like it. You'll have a good job, stable income, family and friends, all living happily and prosperously. You won't have to fight any supernatural monsters, but you'll be doing your part in helping to preserve law and order. Many of our technologies make innovative use of magic. We divert and streamline it in a way that improves and facilitates people's lives. If you take your time to explore your abilities and, together with us, channel them appropriately, you'll go on to accomplish great things. Humanity needs folks like you. I agree. When do we sign a contract? Not so fast. First, you'll need to go through training. That's a requirement for joining our workforce. But believe me, you have what it takes to ace it with flying colors. You're probably right. That is what I want. Of course, I'm right. Just as I always am. You may as well get used to that. It'll make your job here easier. Meet me tomorrow at 8 a.m. at room 122. Don't be late. Now get up, Mr. Cyrus. Follow me, Mr. Cyrus. I'll see you out so the guards won't stop you. Yes, I'm here. What? Have you lost your mind? I'll be right there. I have one possible solution. A particular individual. Okay, I'll get back to you. Cyrus, I have a job for you. Quick, come with me. Watch your step. Now listen to me, Cyrus, and no questions. You've already heard of magic, and you're about to come face to face with one of its manifestations. An ancient relic, a stone slab, the seal of wisdom from a Vedic temple. I suspect it's reacting to coming in contact with live magic. Your teleportation. It has just sprung a force field. Here we are. Let's go. Apart from the unsanctioned activation of the relic, there's been a theft of several essential components. If you know something about that, I'd really appreciate any information. I know nothing about that. All the better for both of us. Now regarding your assignment here, you can probably hear that strange hum, right? That's the sound of an impassable force field, which I believe you'll have no trouble traversing. You're like an electron to a positively charged ion. Once the field lets you through, you'll need to touch the seal and stabilize it by rebalancing the charge. Our agents will handle the rest. Got it. I'll do it. But before I leave, let's discuss the business that you called me here for. Finn. Did you want to tell us something? Well, I wouldn't call it business. More of an interesting initiative. Okay, get to the point. So this was in the park behind the store. Not far from where Mr. Tim's lives. Anyway, I found a curious rock. Until recently, it was a base for a table made from some wooden planks with benches around it. So we were sitting there, playing cards and having drinks. All that. Then I thought I'd cheat a little. So I stuck a couple of cards up my sleeve. So Horace Garris noticed and went nuts yelling and shaking his fist in the air. Long story short, he smashed that table to bits. We were all laughing. And then I looked down at the rock and saw it. A circular pattern. We all got to thinking, is this a portal maybe, or some force field marker? I suggest we all meet up there after work tomorrow, at about 5 p.m., and take a gander. What do you say? Cyrus? Cyrus from Camaro. Again, how do they know? First the sword, and now the slab, too. Very suspicious. People would do well to stay away from magic.